Aging of meat is very important in, in the UK butchery uh, and catering industry. Um, the aging is basically the tenderization process that happens after slaughter. Um, the problem we've got with traditional methods is that um, it ta a, it takes a long time. It can take over 21 days, 28 days, depending. The two basic ways of doing it are dry aging and wet aging, or a mixture of the two. With dry aging, the surface of the meat dries out. Yep. It also discolours. Yeah? With wet aging, i.e. in a vacuum pack, you can get uh, a lot of seepage of blood and you can get a lot of acid flavouring in the meat when you take it out of the pack. So although it's tender, although there is some flavour, there can be a, 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 a poor effect on quality. What the matcha meat does is it, it, it controls all those parameters. It shortens the time of maturation for a start off. You can reduce the time to 11 or 12 days from slaughter. It also controls the humidity, yep. it controls the airspeed, uh, and it controls the temperature. So throughout the maturation of this meat, it, it's staying in prime condition. And above all else, it yep. keeps the meat safe. Yep. It's monitoring the pH to make sure that, mm. you know, and, uh, and also that you've got proof, yep. uh, you know, you've got records that it is at, that, at, at any particular time. You, you've got uh, HACCP, mm. that you've got, you know, you, you can prove due diligence yep. by having a machine like this in, on, on your premises. Yep. Of course, the, yep. the, the controls yep. that are, that are pre-programmed, depending on the type of meat that's being done, um, are, are set in the machine. Yep. And although it might need a little bit of uh, uh, adjustment here and there, uh, usually uh, the, the, those parameters ensure that the meat is produced in prime condition in 11 to 12 days as opposed to 21. In a restaurant it's ideal because it's, it, it's an attractive looking unit, it's got good lighting, it's got eye appeal. The, sh the chefs, the, the, the guys who are cooking it will pull us will pull a hunk out, they will, they will cut it in front of the customer, they choose it and then they put it back in and it's still without any harm to it. People always want matured meat, that's a fact. But, you know, particularly beef, um, but also, you know, nowadays venison, another game. But it's, it's what, at what cost, yeah? Obviously there's the food safety aspect, but, you know, the, the, the wastage that you will see on meat that is matured, hung in a fridge, in a normal fridge, is massive. You've got, a, you know, a lot of black on it, so that needs to be trimmed. Yeah. So butchers, or caterers, hoteliers, will look to have prime quality meat in a much shorter space of time, uh, with maximum profitability and and minimum wastage.